It's a sad time of year, Paul. Uh, all the all the things that kept us entertained through the colder months, they'll be off soon. Yeah. The Avocet, they'll be going. Hen Harriers, they'll be gone soon. Yep. Firecrests, we haven't seen them for a while. Field Fairs, Red Wings, they'll be back off to Scandinavia soon. But, Rob, it's not all doom and gloom. Um, we just had the sun shining on our face, and uh, we should start seeing other species returning. Wheat ears are back on Portland Bill. Yeah, all the martins and swallows, they'll be back. I've seen my first uh, adders of the year as well. We've just heard woodlarks singing on the heath just to the right of us. So it may be a sad time of year seeing everything leave, but spring brings its own set of goodies. And talking of those goodies, who lives in a nest like this? Thank you, Paul and Rob. So who indeed would live in a nest like this? Well, what we're really, really hoping is it's going to be offspray. So as Paul and Rob were saying, it's kind of springtime now. We're getting into March and uh, our records show us, or the records from the last 10 years at Paul Harbour, show us that we'll be having the first osprey starting to pass through ones and twos, very small numbers, at the beginning of March. So uh, you may have seen this project before. It's the second year we've been doing this now. We've built uh, seven fake osprey nests around the harbour and we're really, really, really hoping that we're going to get them to come and breed here in the Pool Harbour Basin. So we've built the nests. The problem is, osprey are really, really colonial, which is why they haven't spread across the UK. The young ones just go back to where they've been bred. So what we've had to try and do here, with the help of Roy Dennis, world-leading osprey expert, is we've had to get inside of the osprey's head to try and make it seem like a place where osprey have been breeding for ages. So, specifically to this nest, this chap here will be living there. Uh, it's part of uh, the measures we've gone through to make these nests look like there have been birds here for a while. So obviously this is a bit of a butch fella. He's a bit bigger than Osprey, but when you've got a bird two or three hundred feet up looking down, what it's going to see is these really striking white patches, really typical of an Osprey, and it's kind of acts as an attractant, and they will actually think that it's birds at a nest. So we're not expecting to have osprey breeding here this year or next year. Our aim is to get four or five summering males, young males, in the harbour and that will bring the females in. In fact, last autumn on the passage back through, we had a young male bird begging around one of the nests. It was seeing the nest, thinking it could get fed and it was, yeah, it was being very vocal, which is quite unusual for osprey. But we can't be around the nests all the time, so what we're going to do is put these motion sensing cameras up on the nest and uh, what we can do from this is, is just go up periodically and see what we've captured on that. Um, if you want to come back in the future and have a look to see any of the images we have caught, we'll be putting them on the blog at some point. Wow, an osprey eye view for taken from one of the nests there. Imagine waking up to that view every morning. Pretty stunning, but for those of you that aren't too sure what an osprey is, here's some footage taken by our community member Dom Greaves uh, September last year, and uh, it's nicely decapitating a sea bass. Check it out.